Section 5 of Chapter 17 is about entropy changes in chemical reactions. Learning target-wise, we want to predict the sign and magnitude of the entropy change associated with a chemical reaction. Remember, earlier in this chapter, we discussed how gases have the highest positional entropy. The particles are the farthest apart of the three phases with more positions available. So when we're dealing with a chemical reaction that has gases, we're going to look at uh, gas reactants versus gas products to see if we have an increase or a decrease in entropy. For example, in the first reaction, there are zero moles of gas on the reactant side and one mole of gas on the product side. More gas is being produced, so that's an increase in entropy, and our delta S would be positive. In the second reaction, there are three moles of gas on the reactant side and only two moles of gas on the product side. So there's less gas uh, produced than there was initially. That's a decrease in entropy, and your delta S is negative. Of course, we're talking about the entropy change for the system here. This brings us to the third law of thermodynamics. The entropy of a perfect crystal at zero Kelvin is zero. A perfect crystal is shown here in diagram A. Its internal arrangement is absolutely regular. Every particle is in its place. At zero Kelvin, which we refer to as absolute zero, uh, virtually all particle motion stops. So this is how we are able to have this perfect crystal. As temperature increases from absolute zero, the entropy of a substance increases, like we see here in diagram B. Particles begin to vibrate, increasing entropy. Some standard entropy values are given in Appendix 4 of your textbook. We can use those values and the equation shown here to calculate the entropy change for a reaction. This equation should look familiar. We did the same thing in Chapter 6 but with enthalpy. Like enthalpy, entropy is a state function, so we can use this same type of calculation. And remember that little degree symbol means standard, and that's 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere for your temperature and pressure conditions. So now let's calculate a standard entropy change for a reaction given the entropies for the different reactants and products shown here. By the way, these standard entropies have been calculated based on the idea that at zero Kelvin, the entropy of a perfect crystal is zero and most will be positive. So now we'll do our calculation. We're gonna do products minus reactants for the products, 2 times 248 plus 2 times 38 will take care of our two products. Minus 2 times 53 plus 3 times 205. That takes care of our reactants. And our answer is negative 149 joules per Kelvin. The moles will cancel because we're multiplying by the moles, our coefficients in our balanced chemical equation. Now let's take a look at what's happening to the moles of gas throughout the course of the reaction. On the reactant side, we have three moles of gas. And on our product side, we have two moles of gas. So going back to the very first slide uh, in this lesson, we are decreasing the number of moles of gas. So we should see a decrease in entropy. And that's what we're seeing uh, with this negative value in our answer.